Greetings, friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to add awesome icons to all the buttons. Font Awesome is a convenient library of icons. The icons can be web fonts or vector graphics. These icons are treated just like fonts. You can specify their size using pixels, and they will assume the font size of their parent HTML element. Use Font Awesome to add an info circle icon to your info button and a trash icon to your delete button. The span element is an acceptable alternative to the eye element uh, for these below. So I'm going to pull this out just so we can see a little bit better. I like to make the spacing very clear when I'm writing code. Um, so yeah, we should have a circle within your info button. So when we scroll down here, we see we've got our cat photo app. Uh, to the right of that, we have a the X4. Oh, that's interesting. I did it incorrectly earlier. This is what they're, maybe this is what they were going for. Anyways, um, so the like button already has the thumbs up and we want to add a, a this circle button to the info. So yeah, see, I, I this is why I like uh, having the, um, the button spread out. So now you can see it easily, right? And so we can say, well, let's add the info button. It's easier to add code here. Um, if you if you space it out like uh, like this. And now what we can do is just press enter and put in the circle. And so now we've got our info circle here. And then we know we want to have the trash. And uh, once again, this is hard to read when it's like this, but if we simplify it like that, then it's like, oh, no problem. Just put it like that. Um, yeah. That's probably going to pass the test. Cool. And so the whole idea here now, uh, inside the row, you've got your columns, and then you've got your buttons. And then within there, you've got an icon and a word. An icon, a word. An icon, a word. And uh, I don't think it matters if you put it there. I mean, does it matter if you put the delete button here? Um, Run the tests. Yeah, it can even be, you can pass the tests even if you've got it looking kind of uh, crooked like that. Uh, so yeah, that would be another way to do it where you've got the icons after the uh, information and that still passes the test. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.